last thing that we're going to cover this week is cost centers in your own life. So everything in the slideshow so far has been applying cost centers to companies, but they don't have to be companies. You can identify costs in your own life. You can identify cost centers in your own life to help you manage your finances. Um, your second quiz this week requires the assembly of a daily log of cost centers in your life with associated costs. So you need to identify every place that you spend money. So you can decide if you're, you're spending too much for your own good. Um, or if you say, you know what, I'm doing pretty good. I'm profitable every single day and I can put that money into my savings account. So here's an example of what my daily cost centers uh, may have looked like. Um, for July 30th, 2012. My daily salary I calculated at $193.33 because I get paid twice a month and the first half of July I got paid for 16 days and the second half of July I got paid for 15 days. So I took my paycheck which is $2,900 and I calculated my uh, my net, not my gross. Uh, gross is before taxes come out so it doesn't really help me to calculate based on that because part of that money is going to disappear. Anywho, so I took $2,900 and I divided it by 15 days in that pay period, which gave me a total of $193.33 per day that I worked. My rent is $1,225. I divided that by 31 days in the month, which means every single day that I lived in my apartment, it cost me $39.52. My monthly bills, I added up, I grouped that into its own little cost center so I didn't have to have a million things on my list. And I have $1,200 in various monthly bills. I divided that by 31 days in July. And the total amount that I paid per day for other bills is $38.71. I fill up my gas tank every two weeks. So every single day that I drive my car, it costs me $2.86 just for the gas. I have a morning coffee that day on July 30th I got a morning coffee I ate lunch out and I paid my dad because we can't buy like a million tickets here I paid my dad 20 bucks to buy me mega million tickets because on that day I don't know if you remember the jackpot was up to like 470 million dollars or something but when I add all those costs up I can determine if I was profitable or if I had a loss that day so the only positive I have here, or a credit, the money going in, would be my salary. Everything else is debited, or it's negative numbers that are coming out of my account. So, money coming in was $193.33. Once I subtract all my other costs, that day I was profitable. I had an extra $80.79 that day. Now, some days you'll be profitable, and some days you'll have a loss. For example, if I decided to buy a couch that day, and I spent $800 on it, there is no way I would be profitable because I would have a loss of $719.21. But it's okay to be profitable some days and have a loss other days. What you want is over the course of a year or your life or whatever it happens to be, you want to make sure that some days you're profitable and other days you have losses. But in the long run, you never spend more money than you take in. After you've completed this little exercise for yourself, you have three things to do for this lecture. Your first homework and your first quiz are exactly like those previous mathematical problems. Is the company profitable? How much money do they make? How much money do they lose? What are their credits? What are their debits? Make sure you read the questions really carefully. Sometimes it will ask you what the credit is. Sometimes it will ask you what the debit is. Sometimes it will ask you what the total profit is. So make sure that you do that and make sure that anytime you have a profit, or a credit, it says positive dollar sign the value. And anytime you have a debit, you have a negative sign dollar sign to the value to indicate that it's a profit or a loss, a debit or a credit. Quiz number two is exactly like what this portion of the video uh, lecture uh, described. You're going to take three days in your life, identify every place that you spent money, and decide if you were profitable or had a loss those three days. If you have any questions, please contact me during open lab hours. Um, I'm here usually on Friday mornings if you want to stop by, but I also have my office hours and my online chat hours, so make sure that you come to me if you need extra help. 
And as always, uh, Thursdays are optional for extra help. If you would like to come to my in-class sections of Art 1210, um, check your Canvas for the exact date and times. Um, but they usually on Thursdays from 10 to 12.20 and from 1 to 2.20.